Bukayo Saka is the football player that we are talking about and his injury. Bukayo Saka withdraws from England squad. You already know that he's definitely been making rounds over and over again. And at this moment in time, I have to say welcome to the latest episode of our podcast where we bring you uh, all the breaking news and insights from the world of Arsenal Football Club. I'm Abu, uh, that's my name. And today we've got some significant updates concerning one of Arsenal's key players. And we are talking about the one and only Bo Kayosaka, who is a key football player for the football club Arsenal. And uh, he's been playing for Arsenal for a while now. And the fact that Arsenal is on top, Arsenal don't have to miss out on him. So let's dive right into Bo Kayosaka's. Uh, saga, the rising star for both Arsenal and the England national team has been forced to withdraw from the England squad ahead of their upcoming friendlies against uh, two great clubs, uh, I can say national teams, and that's Brazil and Belgium. And uh, it will be put to consideration and noted that this news comes amidst concerns over Saka's injury prompting fears about his availability for Arsenal's crucial fixtures. At this moment in time, it's not the time where Arsenal really needs to get somebody injured. It's a concerning development, especially with Arsenal gearing up for a title showdown against Manchester City after the international break. You definitely know that uh, Bukayo Saka's absence raises questions about fitness and its potential impact on Arsenal's aspirations for success this very season because at this moment in time as I'm talking Arsenal is on top of the table but the question is is Arsenal going to remain on top of the table with injuries like this we have to get a bit worried anyway reports indicate that Bukayo Saka's withdrawal from the England squad is a precautionary measure. But the uncertainty surrounding his injury leaves quite a lot of fans anxious about his availability for the upcoming challenges. That is very, very important. Moreover, Arsenal faced another setback as they suffered a 4 nil defeat at the Queen's Park Rangers in a behind closed door friendly wireless the senior players like Tekahiro, Tomiyasu and Thomas Pate returned in action and at a good note that is quite good news the loss highlights the need for caution and proper management of player fitness and uh, that definitely has to be seen as very serious and extremely serious. Arsenal isn't a club that should be losing 4 nil. With the title race heating up and the Champions League campaign progressing, Arsenal can't afford to be without players like Bukayo Saka, Tomiyasu and Pate. The next few weeks will be crucial and I know that everybody understands that. And keeping everyone fit will be essential for Arsenal's chances of success on multiple fronts. Definitely, that is a big, big and massive point to put into consideration. So, what are your thoughts on uh, these developments? Let us know. Are you concerned about Bukayo Saka's injury? and its potential impact on Arsenal's season? And how do you interpret the defeat in the friendly against Trippier? Share your thoughts with us and we will definitely give you a positive feedback. So stay tuned for any updates and the analysis as we track Arsenal's journey through the remainder of the season and please you have to put in consideration that despite the fact that 
all this is happening, Arsenal cannot lose twice uh, consecutively. The Premier League title, I must say, is on the line. The Premier League title, last time Arsenal missed by quite a bit, by just a little bit. Arsenal tried its best to make sure that they can uh, get the first position the last season, but ended up in the second position with uh, something like five points difference. And at this moment in time, Manchester City is still very close. It's in the third position. I don't think uh, Liverpool is in, uh, is in the second position, and uh, uh, Liverpool is in the second, and uh, Manchester City is in the third. But between me and you, we know who the real threat of the Premier League is. It's no Liverpool, no. It's Manchester City. And uh, really, there's no way Arsenal is going to have a brilliant game. A brilliant future, a brilliant uh, a competition with the likes of Bukayo Saka out. Let us hope that it is only a precaution measure as uh, it's been stated, as uh, what the club really said and uh, what different pundits came out and said. But if it's not that and it's an injury, then that will definitely be a big and massive blow. I know. Very many people are disappointed about the news, but something has to be done. There has to be some sort of management that has to be done about precautionary measures that have to be in place for these uh, football players not to get uh, injured because at the end of the day, Arsenal needs the trophy. Arsenal needs the English Premier League trophy. And I can definitely see that happening this season. Undoubtedly, with the form that Arsenal has been on, I think Arsenal deserves to win. But also, losing 4 nil, it really says quite a lot. This is not the time for the football club Arsenal to be losing out on games. It's not the time, really. And uh, uh, football players missing uh, because of injuries, it's definitely not good news. We'll be going toe to toe uh, bringing to the latest of information about all these football players but mainly at this moment in time the focus is on Bukayo Saka who's got a big injury but uh, from different sources uh, they're saying that Arsenal cannot afford to lose him and that's why Arsenal has requested his withdrawal from international football from playing for England because they want to favorably compete uh, when Bukayo Saka is really in good condition and shape and with absolutely no injury so Arsenal is number one at this moment in time and the question is will Arsenal stay number one let us know what you think in the comment section and until next time this is Abu signing off keep the faith gunners